Hello and welcome to Dream Infinity Studios tutorial of um, Particle Beams Part 4. This is a long tutorial, I know. Um, as I explained in Part 3, I added these little glowy ball effects um, just using simple filter render uh, lens flare. Um, nothing hard, quite obviously, um, and you know, it's fairly easy. Now we're going to just kind of spice it up, kind of going over um, brushes. Now, we did a tedious task of going these little, um, adding these little tiny balls, but there's an easier way to do it using brushes. Now, you don't have to use brushes. I mean, there's very, really a lot of ways, different methods of um, doing this. But we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how the brushes way and kind of um, doing it a really fairly simple way than just going to filter, render, you know, on all that stuff. Now traditionally we're going to break away from Adobe Illustrator and we're going to use a traditional pen tool in Photoshop. So select the pen tool and then after you do so, um, click this little button up here called Path. Not the shape layers, but Paths, because we're just going to want to draw Path. Now I'm going to follow my um, little streak that I already made over here with the pen tool as best as I can. Kind of stretch it out and just kind of, you know, mimic the same, um, oops, mimic the same um, path as the particle beams that I created. Now, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, well, there's a lot of resources online as well as the help section on Adobe how to use it. So this, because this tutorial is really not about how to use the pen tool, so if, you, um, if you're having trouble with it, please follow up with that. Now we got the pen tool, we're just kind of drawing a path. Um, it doesn't have to be accurate, it's fine. Now we're going to go into brushes and um, on the brushes menu, or just go to window brushes. We're going to choose a uh, number nine little dot and we're going to adjust the spacing as well as um, just kind of brush, um, mess with the, the, you know, the tool, the brush tip. And uh, you don't really have to mess with this um, area, but we're going to have to mess with the scattering. Um, scattering is actually a really cool tool um, to actually create some cool, unique effects. So on the scattering section, um, you don't really need to have shape dynamics, but if you want, you can have the size jitter or whatever, but I have everything pretty much down. Oh, and delete pen pressure. And on the scattering section, um, this basically controls um, how much you want want to scatter. And um, once you select the number 5 or number 9, which I recommend, uh, let's go with 5. Um, with the spacing, you control the spacing and the, just the how the brushes are going to scatter around with the spacing and the scatter, um, scattering uh, option. So I'm going to set the spacing to about 129% here. Scattering, I'm going to increase it all the way. And you can see on the bottom, you can see it kind of literally scattering. Um, you don't really have to mess with any other ones. Uh, so br on, the, on the brush tip, I mean, on the uh, on the brush tip shape area, um, change the spacing to maybe like I'm gonna change it a bit. Um, I'm just gonna have maximum scatter, and I'm gonna take off pen pressure. And there you have it. It's like these little dots. Now, after I've done that with the brushes, I'm gonna go into the paths tool you created, and make sure you create a new layer or a folder that says path and a new layer, go to paths tool and then make sure the work path is selected. And then you want to select this little um, option right here, stroke path with brush. And you just got to hit it. There you have it. Now deselect that to see it and you already see it kind of following the path. What we're going to do now is kind of apply layer effects, so double click on the layer and then we're going to mess around with the outer glow area. Um, we're going to try to mimic the um, little lens flare effect that we did here. Maybe get the eyedropper tool and try to select the color. If that doesn't work, you want something darker, you can do that. And we're going to try to um, uh, mimic, mimic that. Now we're going to try to change the size. And you can see it kind of changing already on the screen. There you go. Let's stick with that. Maybe a little smaller. Boom. 
now you have these cool little shiny balls following that path now um, again we could do another one um, and uh, create another path um, quite obviously so we're going to go in here um, and uh, make sure that's deselected and we're going to make another path so let's zoom out get the pen tool again so at the one point and I'm just going to try to oops, get the, the you know path to follow my little particle beams. There you go. Now we have two paths. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna go back. I forgot one thing. I'm going to create another path. And path 2. Make sure path um, the, the new path is selected. And then we're going to create another one. And kind of roughly trying to follow the beam. Okay, we have 2. Now we're going to stroke it again there we have it so we're gonna why do I keep doing that so once we have that sorry I'm kinda uh, mouse happy today I'm just clicking on everything I'm gonna copy the effects over easiest way is to alt press alt click on double uh, the FX word and move it up and it just copies the effect exactly how it was. Now, of course, you could go back and erase some unnecessary parts or make it fade, um, kind of like that. You saw that? I just kind of erased it, like roughly, kind of make it look, you know, a little, create a little depth. So it's kind of zooming out. And now we're going to create, we're going to repeat that process one more time very fast. Um, so, just bear, um, kind of bear with me here. Okay, created it. There it is. Select. Apply. There we have it. Now, I'll make sure... To now I'm just going to erase it again, kind of making it look like it's fading away. And we have the final result. Now, of course, you can play around with it, delete some, um, scatter it more. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff, but now you can kind of tell how I, you know, create these little beams um, rotating around. It's a very um, gorilla style Photoshop um, work. Um, it's not really calculated, it's not using 3D programs, it's very a uh, matter of chance and anything's possible. So I hope you enjoyed the full tutorial on this and again, use it for your advantage. Thank you.